Good morning and welcome for this mathematics lesson. We are continuing with the revision of the mock from Capsabet Boys. And uh, we're going to hand off paper 2 number 8, a question on simultaneous equations which are quadratic in nature. Therefore, we can proceed to the solution of the equation whereby we try to solve for x and y in the simultaneous equation below. Therefore, examining the two pair, the pair of two equations here, we can check uh, x, y plus 6 equals to 0. And again, we have x minus 2y equals to 7. Therefore, since this equation cannot be solved by elimination method, we can only apply substitution, in which case we shall consider we shall consider the variable which can be expressed with is in one of the equations and for that matter we go to equation 2 this one in which case we can uh, express x to be 7 plus 2y that is from equation 2 so whatever we've expressed as x now we substitute it in equation 1 such that in equation 1 instead of x we have 7 plus 2y then multiplied by y plus 6 equals to a 0 such that this is 7y plus 2y squared plus 6 equals to 0. So here we can arrange the equation to be 2y squared plus 7y plus 6 equals to 0. Now it's quadratic in nature. Therefore we can get product and a sum such that the product is 2 by 6 giving us 12, and the sum is 7. The two values here will be 4 and 3. The two factors are 4 and 3, such that when multiplied, they give us 12. When added, they give us 7. Therefore, we can uh, proceed to factorize here. 2y squared. Instead of 7x, we can have 4, 7y, sorry and 3y that has repl replaced 7y plus 6 equals to 0 factoring what is common in each of two terms we have 2y in the first such that y plus 2 then plus 3 and we have y plus 2 here again now we can lift 2 okay y plus 2 because it is common so y plus 2 and 2y plus 3 equals to 0. Then independently, we equate each of the factors to 0. y plus 2 equals to 0. Or 2y plus 3 equals to 0. With this, you can say y is either negative 2 or y is equals to negative 1.5. Since 3 taken to the other side becomes negative, then we divide by 2, get 1.5. So now with the two factors, or with the two roots of y, we can substitute in this equation and get two roots of x, such that x is 7 plus 2 into negative 2, and this gives us 7 minus 4, which is 3, or x equals to 7 plus 2 into negative 1.5, making this one a 3 negative, such that x becomes 4. So x is either 3 or 4, and y is either negative 2 or negative 1.5. Or rather, we can argue y equals to negative 2 when x is 3, and y equals to negative 1.5 when x is 4. So that is how we solve the quadratic simultaneous equation. Thank you for following. Subscribe to this channel and share the link.